We play. We fight. We conquer. Stay a while and drive. Drive a while and listen to some beats on your radio. I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little off today. My checkered voice isn't quite there. Oh, all right. I, I can't ask you. No power, baby. If Motorfest gave us two hypercars with more power than anyone would ever need. Choose between the Bugatti Centurice and the Ponigzig Jesco and race through downtown Honolulu. Which car will set the new downtown speed record? And who will split an order of shaved ice with me? Hey, can we get some shaved ice on set? Oh yeah, good luck. Since you were nice to me and gave me the Camaro, I'll give you your Konigsberg Jesco 2074-19. You're welcome. Konigsberg Jesco, bold choice. I'm bold. at my speed. I meant bold choice. Bold choice. He's on to me. I do like the Bugatti more, but this isn't bad. Well, I don't know if that's specific. I gotta figure out how to go faster off the line. I, I, I think traction control is really where it Partnering comes. with Motorfest comes with some pretty sweet perks. Check out these two this, spaceships this they lent us. Slick. Yeah, this feels pretty slick. Oh my god, why are you doing that? Um, this does not bode well. This car is well. too fast. You are a psychopath. I love you. Yeah. Well, I get that. Get in line, buddy. Okay, I'm not doing well. Oh my. Let's call this a do over. Nope, that didn't help. Jung, I am sorry. I am not trying to make your, your car look bad. I don't know why the car decided not to turn when I came out of the turn, but it didn't. All right, let's try this again. There we go. Amazing. Much better. Oh, that's some slowing down. I'll respect the car. They're not really letting me see what's coming. Okay, I somehow lived through that. There was a giant metal beam that should have killed me. But I avoided it with my mad skills all up in a mad abundance. Come on. Hey! Somebody back there was talking about your mama, Bugatti. The docks, how about a little tour of the countryside? You should um, go back and talk to them. And set them straight. They said they were gonna they were gonna take Mrs. Bugatti out. To a nice seafood dinner and never call her again. This is a really nice neighborhood. Pretty sure you're ruining the property values, though. Probably. Hmm. Every time I feel like I'm gaining on it. Well, I'm not. I can't even see it. Where is it? Aha! Found it. Yep. Intentional. Uh, if you enjoyed the crew too, you'll 100% like the crew Motorfest. Uh, I really, really enjoyed the crew too. It's actually my favorite racing game to date. Look, we can so all agree this is a no-brainer for me. Destroying the previous downtown speed record, but which car's gonna set the new record? The suspense okay. is killing me. I gotta Sorry. sit down. Um, do keep in mind, again, not every game is for everyone, and if it makes any difference to you, uh. Ubisoft did provide me with, again, I always want to disclose, uh, Ubisoft did provide me with the code for it, 
and uh, Ubisoft partner right there. Kilometers so. per hour in you the can city. say, oh, you're talking about the game. I'm just super happy that I get the chance to play this. I know my community is not some one that particularly loves racing games. So this is a, more of a guilty pleasure, even though I will absolutely cover it. Uh, hopefully folks will find it. Uh, this is this is a for me thing, so this has got my stamp of approval Finish whether they sent right it my there. way or not. Um, so, there's a lot of different feels, more than there was in The Crew 2. So, the races feel quite different from one another. Um, the cars handle differently, the extent, they, they had all of that to some degree in The Crew 2, but now it, it handles quite differently, even from race to race. There's certain races where you're going to be going at lower speeds. You're specifically trying to maintain a speed around a twisty thing. So they've, they've done a lot of that where there's more variety in what you're actually racing. So Forza Horizon 5 or Crew Motorfest. Uh, it, do you prefer a more arcadey experience or do you prefer a more sim-based uh, racing thing? that's kind of the uh, that's kind of the uh, the question there right this has a bit more of an arcadey feel I don't know how they get so fast off the line but figure that out this definitely has more arcadey feel if you're looking for a larger amount of simulated more realistic racing then you're probably gonna want to go with Forza, Forza. Why are you stopped? This car is too fast. You are a psychopath. Uh, this is true. I love you. Hmm. Very clean racing on my part. A little you bit of rewinding. Just, that Bugatti just like want to have fun. Fine fist. Like, like I said, for me, th this is the this is my favorite uh, racing game that I've had. Oh, oh no. Let's just rewind that one. Oh no. All right, hold on, we're just gonna restart. Sorry. I didn't expect to smash into the guy and then I've kind of scrambling ever since. Gotta figure out how to get off the line. To me, this is this is just a, an enjoyable game. So is the crew too. Why was he so much faster? I, I, I think it's traction control. I think if I had traction control on, this would be better. Partnering with Motorfest comes with some pretty line. sweet perks. Check out these two spaceships they lent us. Alright, Homer. Coming for you, buddy. Oh, you did that too. Oh, I didn't do that last time. That explains it. Okay. Be kind, be vines. Alright, let's try this again without being terrible at, you know, stuff. Can somebody go see if that Bugatti forgot to install their engine? This car is too fast. You are a psychopath. I love you. Well, he didn't do that last time. He he actually made that turn well last time. Didn't make that turn well. Straighten up that bow tie, cause you're looking good in first. All right, go over into the, the woods this time. We have the kind of floor it a little bit here. Oh, the god, he's catching up. That's not a good sign. After the docks, how about a little tour of the countryside? Stay behind me. I will drive like a, a a crazy, angry psychopath. I'll drive like a soccer mom on this the is edge. This a really nice neighborhood. Pretty sure you're ruining the property values, though. Yeah, a little bit. Oh my god! What? Can somebody go see if that Bugatti forgot to install their engine? It just jumped over me, right? Like we all saw it. That is an illegal move. You should be sanctioned for such things. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, that was rough. 
You just smoked that Bugatti like some fine rocked fist. I did not do anything like that at all. I did real bad there. Oh, come on. Come on. No. No. Can I let it ride? I think so. I don't like rewinding. I feel Look, bad. We can all agree that you guys are destroying the previous downtown speed record, but which car's gonna set the new record? Mm. The ah, no! Is killing me. <laughs> the same thing as last time. Sit down. Oh, oh, that was that was interesting. We were one being at one point. Oh, 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 oh no! Oh God! Wait, you did that to me, and to somehow you just were fine? You just smoked that Bugatti oh. like some fine rocked fist. <sighs> Stay behind me. Three hundred and fifty kilometers per hour in the city. I don't know. That's got to be at least a hundred miles an hour. <laughs> this is not the ideal situation. Oh god, there's a turn. The finish line is right there. More power, baby. Oh. Uh, all right. You're a Need for Speed fanboy, but you recently are not coming with some exciting titles. Ah. Well, this is more like Need for Speed. I would agree with that. Uh, unless there was two. Is it Street? Street 1 and 2. They were more realistic, right? But like Need for Speed Unbound, oh, this is a, a while ago. I, I played a, a fair few on the PlayStation 3. This is very, very much similar to that vein of uh, racing. But there were a couple that were not that line of uh, racing. It was, uh, I think it was the street ones. Smoked fish is what rocked bisque means. Weird. And thank you. Because I, I, I can't remember all the ones that I played. I, I played like three or four of them back in the day that were like on PS3 and then a few that just were probably on other like PS4 that I played on the PC. So for me, this is more like Need for Speed. This is again more arcadey, fast, spinning driver. around, doing On stuff. To the next one. Whereas our new destination, Diamond Head. Let's set forward. Also, I don't, I don't know. Has anyone played Forza in a while? Or uh, I can't remember. I, I have Forza Four. I've never actually played it yet. Uh, but I've heard from somebody else that does racing that it's a more simulated like you're on a racetrack it feels and handles more like a what a real car would it doesn't it's not as fun to them as the crew 2 was so i i have it i just haven't actually played it but you have the uh, cityscape you can drive around let's see if we can open the map here um you can literally not even do racing you could just drive all around honolulu and, and hawaii here and there's just a wide open map you can drive from place to place in the city which is something you can do in need for speed I don't know that you can free drive in Forza. Um, as far as number of cars, I'm not sure which has more, but I can show you that my the Crew 2 uh, vehicles that I have earned has uh, come through. You're able to import them from the Crew 2, again, if you had played it, but just uh, a rough idea of what's actually available. I mean, we've got Street Tier 1 racers, which will be in their own category. Then you go up into street tier two racers. And then there's actually like pro circuit racing, which we'll get to. Oh, we have drift. So drift car racing. Then we have racing, which is like, um, it's like closed circuit racing cars. And then you get into the dragsters where you go in a straight line. And then you get into the hyper cars, which is just the thing that we just did was the hyper cars. And then you've got the alpha cars. A little bit of motocross you get to go do off-roading a bunch of different off-roads they have classic vehicles they have demolition derby stuff they have rally races uh monster truck uh they have boats and they have planes as well so again it it has a little i i don't have the super yet but it is unlockable this is the first game in the crew series that the toyota is available in it that is something that we can unlock, and it's maybe the next thing that I'll do after I finish this playlist or the little story uh, missions that they're giving us. 
So there are things. Um, I haven't actually looked at the the shop. Do we do we do that through here or do we do this through? All right, here's the vehicle catalog. Six hundred and four options, and they also have bundles that you can spend either premium currency, which some people like the idea of doing that, so they don't have to grind as much, or you can spend a non-premium currency, which you will earn in the game by doing races and stuff. You can unlock bundles. Bundles almost always have a multitude of things. Let's uh. Does it show us the bundle? I'm just going to click on this. I want to view the bundle. Uh, the bundle here has the Dodge Challenger, the Camaro, and the Mustang. And it has the full price would have been 558000 for all three of those cars. The The bundle price is 446000 And then you can test drive all the vehicles. Uh, but let's go take a look through. So you have Acura. You have Ariel. I'm not sure what that is. Aston Martin, the Audi, Beechcraft, Bentley. Oh, I don't think they had Bentleys before. Maybe they did. That's cool. Uh, BMW, Bugatti, Cadillac, Chevrolet, Chrysler, Cit Citroen. I have one of those. Um, Creators. I think I have one of those, too. What is that? Interesting. <laughs> what? Fine. Uh, DCB, uh, the DeLorean. Oh, they have a DeLorean monster truck. That's hilarious. They have the Dodge. They have the Ducati. They have the extra aerobatic planes. So when you start, uh, Yug, you basically choose one of, I think there's like six at the start now, one of six playlists. And essentially it's a series of events that you go through. And at the end, if you do the entire series and you accomplish all their goals, uh, you unlock a car and one of the first ones that you can choose is made in Japan and that is a Supra that you actually unlock. I will say that I struggled a lot with the made in Japan uh, run. I found that to be difficult for my own skill set because one of the races you have to really throttle back and kind of go at a slower pace weaving in and out and tight turns and stuff. And it was really, really difficult for me to, to master that. So that took me quite a while, like four or five tries to do. Um, and it was a long race. Uh, dream car in real life, probably the 911 Turbo, which I have, by the way. Um, all right, let's see. Ferrari, Ford, uh, Forsberg Racing, Brouscher. You pre ordered, you wait for launch. When is it? Okay, uh, ooh, from India. Uh, if you got the standard edition, the launch is on September 14th. If you got the gold or the ultimate, you said you didn't have a whole bunch of money, so I assume that's probably a little out of the price range, which is you know, fine. I would have probably ended up with the um, the standard edition myself. Um, standard edition's on the 14th. Uh, if you got the gold or the ultimate edition, that is actually three days early, so right now, basically, it's available to play if you have the updated uh, version. Otherwise, you just got to wait three days, basically. And it should be available to you. Uh, GMC, Granville Brothers, Grumman, Harley Davidson, uh, Harman Rocket, Hondas. They had Hondas before. I just don't think they had that many of them. Oh, see, an exclusive vehicle from the crew, too. They even show ones that you could go back and try to earn or get. They also have weekly events. Uh, I'm from Canada right now. That's where I'm streaming from. Uh, they have weekly events. Uh, let's see if we can get in there. I'll, I'll come back to the cars in a second here. Just kind of want to show off uh, the various different things that they do have. How do I get to activities? All right. This is one of the challenges that I've already unlocked and I've done. They have what they call the live competitions. And essentially for like every single week, you go there and you compete against everybody else. And uh, based on your placement... Uh, you get various different rewards. Sometimes you'll just get like extra money and stuff. Other times you'll get like um, cars, uh, performance parts, like entire sets and stuff for car parts. And this is another thing that I don't think any other game 100% does, but I'm not sure. I don't, I don't know. I've never played another game where you actually go in and you upgrade your car. This is almost like a racing RPG in some ways. So here we have the Porsche Spider, right? We actually get upgraded performance parts where we get to improve the overall 
speed and stuff of our thing. And we earn these as we go through and we do racing. So to me, this adds us to more another level of fun, something that I enjoy doing. And your car starts off, you know, you get a new car and it's that's not just the end of it. You get a new car and then you have to go through the process of either earning or, you know, a lot of it's just per class. So maybe you did a lot of hypercar racing and you have a bunch of max level hypercar stuff. And then you can bring your hypercar up to a higher level. Uh, right now, it's not it, it what maxes out hypercar maxes out at 920. And we've managed to get our 918 spider up to uh, 840 as performance. And it started around, I think, 218, 208, something like that miles per hour. Now it goes up to 259. Uh, I don't know. I'm actually very curious myself. I'm not sure if the Motorfest uh, map is bigger than the Crew 2. The Motorfest map was supposed to be a condensed version of the, U the U.S., the United States. And this one's supposed to take place in, in Hawaii, which... If you just went one for one, this would be tiny by comparison. This might be slightly smaller. It might be bigger. I don't know how they've expanded it out. I, I'm not real sure. Uh, I have not been given any information as to whether or not it is bigger or smaller than... Uh, you know what? They did give me something. Let me uh, take a peek at that. Uh, is it under the downloaded thing? I think it's going to be under downloads. All right, one sec. We're going we're gonna to take a peek. It's a bit smaller, but again, Hawaii versus the entirety of the U.S., but it's a tighter thing. There's more to do inside of every bit. Like, there was a lot of wide open areas that you could just drive for a long time and see nothing. There was no events or anything happening. I feel like this is a bit tighter, different topography as well. You're doing a lot more up and down mountains and hills and stuff. So, I don't know. I don't know how it's going to feel overall. Okay, so we, we upgraded this, so this is a bit faster now. And we are going to go back this way. And, of course, you have the various different views if you want them. No I time for surfing. really want to do time for drifting. Oh, okay. I think I missed the first one. Ah, can't get that one. Ah. There are random world events you can do, like the slalom, there's speed tests and all sorts of stuff that you can do. Outruns, like a bomb is going off essentially. It's not really a bomb, but like an explosion's going off and you're trying to outrun it for as long as possible type situation. So there's a lot more just stuff to do. And it's actually really, really, really enjoyable, in my opinion. Uh, it's one of the strongest parts of the game. Uh, playing it with other people, playing it with friends. Uh, getting people in your crew and actually playing it like the crew too. My father and I played it a whole bunch together and While I enjoyed playing it on my own. I really really like the Playing it with someone else aspect That made it uh, significantly Large amount better for me a lot more enjoyable so. And how many uh, how many games do you have that have this? As a vehicle you can race. Hold on. Wait for it. Wait for it. That's right. Now we're talking top end, high speed action. Does it get any better than this? I don't think so. Eh? Yeah, it's pretty good. All right, I, I think I'm going to do this last whatever this is, and then that's going to be it for the stream. The stream's going a little long anyway, but it's all good. Drift to gain points and try to get the best. Oh, no. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, this is, oh, this is his. Oh, no. All right, this is something I don't do well at, so I don't like it. But a lot of people do like to drift, so take that what you will. Now is your chance to get sideways, muchacho. You'll be drifting this Mitsubishi Lancer Evo X up and down the corkscrew. The only one you're competing in this challenge against is yourself. Just like in life. Can you get all steezy with your slide? And what? how long can you maintain your drift? Not not very long. I'm real bad at this. What a, what a terrible final uh, challenge for myself, but who knows? Maybe I'll just get miraculously super lucky. Alright, what am I what am I supposed to do here? 
No, I, I understand I'm supposed to drift, but... Game on! Go drift, my friend! Go drift to your heart's content! Come on. Oh, this is gonna be so bad, I'm so sorry. Oh, at least they don't... Oh my god. <laughs> this is rough. I apologize for my terrible drifting uh, lack of prowess. This place is amazing! It's like a playground for drifters! You know, that's what they say about Los Angeles these days. <laughs> Different kind of drifter there. I don't know. I don't know. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not uh, reaching the uh, the goal on this one. Join for the first time, you explain everything so quick. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, yeah, it's super late. So, thanks, uh, I appreciate it. Um, first day of college, well, congratulations. I hope it goes well. Lancer Evo, my friend said it was the fastest car that he's ever driven. What's up, Dan? I bet you never thought you'd be in a video game. Yeah, that was... Uh, that was my best drift. <laughs> I don't suppose I made the, the goal, did I? Oh, I just had to do it? Oh. Well, that's great. I love that. That's That was terrible, by the way. Everybody in the world will do better than that. That might be the worst drifting anyone has ever done in the history of ever. I am bad at drifting. I know that I'm bad at drifting. 